Heading back to school can also mean heading back to bullying for some kids. Every seven minutes a child is bullied and 85% of the time there is no intervention of any kind. And here's a really sad statistic. Bullying is a leading cause of suicide among children between the ages of 11 and 16. Well, family advocate Marie Newman joins us today to address America's bullying epidemic. Good morning, Marie. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Well, as we head into a new school year, how should parents, children, and educators deal with the bullying aspect? You know, it's really important for children, parents, and educators to be prepared for school. And I know in Albuquerque, you're going back soon. Mm -hmm. And the best thing to do is to, pre to prepare your child for bullying. It will happen. One of the things I tell parents and educators alike is that it's no longer if. It will happen. They'll mm -hmm. either be exposed to it or actually will be the victim of bullying. Therefore, yeah. doing role-playing exercises and preparing them how to deal with uh, bullies is a really good thing before school starts. Well, why would you say it's also important for schools to put in something like an anti-bullying program into place? It's truly important because if, if a child feels safe to learn and grow at school, they're going to do better on the whole. Therefore, it's really incumbent upon schools to have a full system mm -hmm. that includes prevention, maintenance, victim support, uh, bullying, uh, bullying consequences, teaching, and reform so that they really understand that your school is a, a society of kindness and a culture of kindness versus a culture of bullying. And I would imagine because it's such a personal and intimidating thing for so many kids, for them to have a, a program like that in place, I would imagine it helps them to know that they're not alone because the fact that even a program would be a, a possibility means that there are other people going through what they're going through. Don't you think that gives them a little more support as well? It does. There's two things important for kids to know. There are places where they can find solutions right away, and mm -hmm. Team Ups to Stop Bullying is one of them. At our site, Sears.com backslash Team Up, kids actually can go on and find very specific ways and effective responses for um, bullying situations. So can parents to help their parents to help their children at school that they can go onto the same site and look for resources and tools that will help them work with schools in mm. collaboration to end their child's torment. So in addition to going online and doing things like that. What are some other tips you can give parents to show their support and their commitment to help stop bullying? Sure, there are lots of important things to remember. One is don't ever ignore bullying. Mm. Tell your child to, um, to be open about what's going on at school. If you ignore bullying, it only gets worse. So that's number one. Number two, it's important if your child is being bullied to document it and to see someone at school immediately, likely the vice principal or the principal, and start to develop an action plan together to end bullying. And then finally, as you said, it's important for educators and schools to put in full anti-bullying systems and what we really strongly recommend there is that they're comprehensive in nature and it's not mm. just a one day or one time event that it's that it's embedded into the culture of the school really good advice and you mentioned the team up to stop bullying initiative let's talk a little more about that and how it provides community resources for families sure. not just locally but all around the nation it is. We are on the ground in every uh, store Sears has right now, and we have the website that we've chatted about. There's also information just for folks that want to learn more about bullying on the site, so that, that's an opportunity as well. And so where can consumers and families go for we more also information? Just have Oh, sure. They can go to the website, but they also, um, if they want to get involved and help with uh, stopping the bullying epidemic, one of the ways they can do that is on August 11th, mm -hmm. it's Super Back to School Day at Sears, and Sears will provide a 15% discount to those buying back to, back to school items, and then 5% of that goes back to the team up. Uh, bullying charities, which in fact will be providing solutions to all in the U.S. Oh, that's wonderful. And, and so, okay, so you said go to the website. Let's remind our viewers one more time what that website is. Sure, Sears.com backslash team up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Marie. Really important advice. You know, I, I mean, I think about childhood. I think about going to school and I I want to be excited about that. And I know a lot of kids want to get excited for back to school. Right. They don't want to be fearful and overwhelmed by it. So if you had one more tip that you could give the kids out there who are thinking, you know, maybe they had a rough go at it last, last year when they were ending the school year and they're going back in with a little bit of that fear, what would you say to them to give them a little more hope? 
prepare and be ready for um, bullying situations and also please tell a trusted adult so that they can help you. The minute that you start talking about your bullying situation is the, you get a lot closer to the solution. Yeah, don't keep it inside and people will be there to support you because you're there sharing it with them. Thank you so much, Marie, we appreciate this. We wanna, we wanna change those statistics as quickly as we can and make, uh, make bullying something that's a thing of the past. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us.